start. And of course he got interested to find out what was planned for his life. So he found the file, read it quickly, and got embarrassed. In accordance with his life's plan, he had to become an outstanding businessman, to live in a luxury house, to drive a luxury car, to marry a luxury woman. But he got nothing of this. He went immediately to the guard to clarify how such terrible misunderstanding could happen. The guard listened to him attentively and said, Do you remember the time you finished your school? I prepared a university for you, but you preferred to go to a technical college. Ten years later, your friend offered you to organize a business. But you were afraid to take a risk and refuse it. Do you remember your first love, Yelena, a wonderful woman? She expected you to court her in a romantic way, but you wanted to have a quick result and married Lucy from the neighboring house. The magic signed, as it was a truth. You know, there is a research related to this topic. People who are about to die were asked what they regret of. The majority of people answered that they regret that they didn't live the life they wanted to have. They regret they didn't fulfill their dreams. Thinking about this story, I thought about my own dreams. When I was a child, I was fond of reading. There were a few books that influenced my life. At that very time, I've got a dream to write a book one day that will change someone's life. A lot of time has passed since that moment, but there is no book is written. A few years ago, I've met an amazing hiking tour in a European country. Since that very moment, I've been planning to go hiking. But every time when planning my vacation, I prefer to spend it in a more comfortable way than hiking 15 kilometers a day, sleeping in a tent, and taking a shower from a plastic bottle. A year ago, I sat in this hall and watched the contest. At that very time, I've got a dream to come here and deliver my speech. Frankly speaking, I've been hesitating for a long time whether to do it or not, because I did not know uh, what do I need it for. But then I thought, if this idea came to my mind, then I do need it. So I'm here. Let's be honest, people often refuse their dreams or postpone them, just to find themselves that they do not really need them. You know, what Dalai Lama said, if you want to live your life happily twice, live it happily at least once. The second time you will leave it remembering your heavy moments. But if you lived your life in sadness and all the time justified your inaction, there will be nothing to remember about. I believe that our dreams appear to make our life happy and to fill it with sense. Therefore, be dedicated to your dreams. They are worth living for. Thank you.